YouTube. Good morning. Now, before I begin this video, I just want to say, everyone, do not take this video serious. It was just out of fun and fun only. We're all family in this community, and we're just here to have fun and only have fun. Everyone's opinions are always valid in this channel. You're allowed to like whatever you want, and you're allowed to dislike whatever you want. And that's what this channel is about. It's about different opinions coming together. But I just want to make this one thing clear. Do not take the video serious. It's supposed to be a fun video because I did see some comments where I'm just like, uh what but no it's all peace and love but if you like the content make sure to like the video and if you're new to the channel welcome in and be sure to subscribe but let's move on to the video so resident evil 4 remake has been nominated to be game of the year along with spider-man 2 alan wake 2 tears of the kingdom and baldur's gate 3 and while i do think some people do have fair points of why it shouldn't be up there i also think a lot of people out there aren't necessarily coming up with the best points it's all coming out just because their game hasn't necessarily been nominated it, it was a pretty tough year to pick goaty because there were so many good games out this year so do i think resident evil 4 remake deserves a spot as a nominee yes i do well, because not only do you have to make a remake but you also have to make a remake of one of the best games ever created and that's resident evil 4 while adding some new stuff and at the same time trying to familiarize ourselves with it and not make it too vastly different which to me i'm not a dev or anything but that sounds like a extremely difficult task to do while i don't think resident evil 4 remake is better than the original resident evil 4 i think it's as good for many different reasons and also there are so many opportunities for the devs to actually mess up the remake if you do not agree that's that's okay well let's let's dig deep into like some some of the juicy things i have some interesting comments here that was presented to me or i've read online and i'm just going to read a few of these and it was under this thread i found on twitter or x whatever you call the platform now so the thread reads can someone explain to me how a remake has a chance of becoming game of the year over starfield or hogwarts which is fair, a lot of people I feel like did enjoy these two games, but this whole year was chaotic and unfortunately not all of these games are going to make it regardless of how good they are. There was just way too many games this year. But okay, let's read one of the comments under that. Someone says a remake isn't a new idea, it's an old idea. Everything about the game and its story and its direction was already made and experienced many years ago. Which is okay, it's fairly true. I don't think it would be fair if there was an Elden Ring remake and it won Goaty 2030. Why not? If Elden Ring would come out with a remake and the game did things better or at least as good as the original, why does it necessarily disqualify the game for just being a remake? Now, I understand if it's a game like The Last of Us Part 1 quote unquote remake, where they just remastered the textures because that's, that's literally all they did, then okay, you won. That does not deserve game of the year for me. But these games are from ground up. Resident Evil 4 remake to be exact. That game was literally made from the ground up. It's nothing like the original Resident Evil 4. Kind of the game has familiarity, which is okay, which is fine. But it's not the same game unless we're talking about the story elements, then that's, that's exact. But I don't think because of a game being a remake should disqualify it completely from being a nominee only because there are so many chances to ruin a remake so many opportunities to do that if not done well so i think something like this should have that credibility and acknowledgement in the industry and quite frankly i honestly think that's a bit harder than to make something from scratch only because not only you have to make something that gravitates new audience but you also have to cater to the older fans of the game so now you have to please a bigger audience now and let me tell you resident evil is a lot bigger now than it has been in the original Resident Evil 4 era and honestly I haven't heard any complaints about this game maybe a few here and there but the fact that you please this whole fan base as a whole deserves some sort of acknowledgement for that all right so moving on to the next comment this one says it's good enough but remakes don't feel deserving at all in my opinion there should be a separate care and here's the issue with that it's not every year we are going to get remakes of a title and also I don't feel like it deserves to be in the same category or be treated as the same as a game like The Last of Us. And if you ask me specifically, and this may be a hot take, but I feel like games like Spider-Man 2 and Tears of the Kingdom are more of a remake than Resident Evil 4 Remake. And why do I say this? Well, it's because they, they reused assets from their previous game into their sequels, which Resident Evil 4 Remake didn't. Now, granted, it's arguable that they may have reused assets from like Village, from Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, but you get my point. Do I think they're all fantastic games? Yes, I freaking love Spider-Man 2 and Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. 
but they definitely did reuse a lot of assets from their previous titles. This next comment says, I don't understand either. Resident Evil Remake was good, but it was the same game as the OG RE4, just looked better. Now, I don't know exactly what he meant by the same game. Does it mean by story? Because if he means by story, then yes, it's it's the same story. But if he's talking about gameplay, then this is completely false. Only because there's one thing that they've added in Resident Evil 4 Remake that made it into a staple throughout the entire game, and you need this specific weapon. I'll give you a minute for you guys to think about what it is, but I'm pretty sure you guys know. Okay, time's up, but it's the knife. What makes them entirely different is not only because, well, it's obviously a remake in the original, but the movement is different. And when it comes to the combat, the knife is heavily emphasized in Resident Evil 4 Remake. And honestly, it's by far the most important. Was it important in the original Resident Evil 4? Yeah, but if you knew the tech, and the tech, I mean, just shooting the angles, suplex, then knifing them to the ground. But that's a tech. That's not something frontal. That is just something we as a like, community came up with and just stood with it. But Resident Evil 4 Remake just took that idea and just ran with it and just made it more frontal. I honestly think Resident Evil 4 Remake is a better game over these two. It's talking about Starfield and Hogwarts Legacy. But I actually 100% agree that Remake should not be nominated for Game of the Year. And this is going back to what I was saying earlier. I don't think because it has Remake in the title should necessarily disqualify it from being Game of the Year. I feel like it should at least be acknowledged of how great the game was. That's literally trying to like unacknowledge something just because it has remake on it. I don't think it matters if it's a remake or not a remake. I, if it's a great game to me, 100% nominate it. This person says I would believe if it was an April Fool's joke. Seriously, with so many awesome games this year, well, maybe checks were finally cleared. This person actually believes that Capcom paid someone off to put their game up there for some reason. All right, guys, this is like the last one. This is like the Moab of all comments. These last two comments are like, like it's, it's mind exploding. So just be ready for this one. So these two comments actually influenced me to want to make a video like this. And it reads, I've got over 100 hours in the game and I can't say I really enjoyed any of it. It was okay to replay 17 times, but it's inferior to Resident Evil 4 original. Less atmosphere, worse story, and less combat. Also, hardcore and professional are so poorly tuned and animations are so bad on these difficulties. Leon also moves so slow, or slowly. Now, where do I begin? So if, okay, so this goes for any game in general, depending on the type, and I would explain that in a minute why. But if you've spent over 100 hours in a game and you've beaten it 17 times, chances are, here, listen to this, you like the game. If you want to say it's inferior by any way, that's, that's completely fine. But to say that you didn't really enjoy any of it, but then come out and say you played over 100 hours and replayed it 17 times usually people will stop playing a game they do not enjoy at least at least for the first playthrough sometimes before not 17 times and then he goes on to talk about the hardcore and professional that which is fine i personally didn't have any problems regarding those modes except for it being difficult but that's about it and also leon moving slow i think that's just like an animation direction they just chose for leon i don't necessarily think it's bad i just think it's done purposely for that reason or for the remake game Games at least but it compensates because you move slow but you also have the knife so i didn't necessarily have a problem with that and then a comment right after that this person says bruh resident evil 4 remake is not fun just saying from my perspective i spent 120 hours in that crap and honestly not my cup of tea it's sluggish and boring I'm sorry, but if you spent 120 hours playing a game, chances are you like the game. And I was going to mention this earlier, but the only time we're having this many hours in the game and say you're not enjoying it is excusable is, well, live service games. We all have that one multiplayer game where we love to hate and we just come back to it over and over again every day. It's just like, why do I play this game? I hate this game. And then we just play these games every day everyone has at least one of those titles and these are the games i'm talking about these games have massive updates so when there's something new it's going to attract us back and what happens is our hours keep adding up 
Yeah, this was just a fun video I wanted to do. Only because a lot of people feel like some games should not be acknowledged because it's something they don't necessarily like or because it's a remake, which in my opinion, I feel like if the game is great enough, I feel like it should be nominated for something. And well, Resident Evil 4 Remake was good enough to be nominated for Game of the Year, it 100% deserves that. You guys are always free to like whatever you like. If you don't like something, that's fine. If you like something, that's completely fine. But at the end of the day, we're all family. We're just here to have fun, have a great time. So what do you think? Do you think Resident Evil 4 Remake deserves to be a nomination for the Game of the Year? Do you think another title deserves that spot over Resident Evil 4 Remake. Tell me down in the comments. But as always, I want you guys to have an amazing day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And until then, peace.